Welcome back. I'm looking a little different today, I know. I got sisters at least. At least we got that. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the ride or die tag. And Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill actually started this tag and it's going around. And so I just thought, hey, let's have a little fun. Let's do it. So I got the stuff in front of me. And we'll go through it. And some of them might kind of have like second place too on Red or Die. But, you know, everyone else is shaking it up. So I'm going to shake it up too. So for primers. I typically always go for this one primer, and it's the Benefit Pos Cosmetic The Professionals. I'm actually almost out of this, so I gotta get new. And this was just a little um, 0.25 ounce one. Just a little bit. But a little bit goes a long ways, okay? Let's realize this, people. A little bit goes a long ways. Alright, foundation. I have two of them. One for the last Four years has been my foundation, and I finally recently got another one, too. And this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, and it's in light beige. And I love this because you remember the Maybelline Dream Mousse Foundation? Well, when I was younger, like way younger before makeup, like real makeup, um, that's what I used a lot of times besides CoverGirl. And this reminds me of it, and I love it. Now, my newest one is It Cosmetics, and it's the CC Cream, Your Skin But Better. And it has SPF 50, and it's in the color light, got the pump. Really, really enjoy this, and I actually mix these two together a lot. All right, concealer. I only have one concealer that is my right or die, and it's the regular Maybelline Concealer. Um, Maybelline New York. It doesn't say fit me or anything. It's just a regular one. And I have it in the color light. So, I'm always using that. Face powders. Okay. I have a new one. That is a ride or die one. And it's the Benefits Bye Bye Pores one. I really, 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 really enjoy that one. Really enjoy it. So, I'm always using this. I'm going to try actually the powder powder next time. But see, you can see that there's already a dent in it. Yeah, there's already a dent. My other one is my Max Mineralized Skin Finish one. I've had this for a couple years now. Well, yeah, a couple years because I've been babying it. But it's almost a pan. So, it's time for a new one. <sighs> sucks. Now, drugstore is the Rimmel Stay Matte one. I mean, I've hit pan on this one. You can see that. So, yeah. Those are my ride or die powders that I'm always, always using. Now, for the longest time, I didn't have an under eye setting powder. And now I have this banana setting powder that came in one of our subscription boxes. And once I figure out where I got it from and everything... I will be buying more, but it only takes a little bit. I love it. Blush. All right. A few years ago, I did a um a swap with my friend Gemma from the UK, and she sent me this Gosh Cosmetics um, blush and Rose Whisper, and I love it. It has the perfect glow. It's just so nice. I mean, look at that. And I did swatch it. And it's just the perfect glow for any skin tone that, you know, if you don't want to look like you're wearing blush, this is what you wear. And then I also love the Milani Powder Blushes. And this is in Coral Cove. This is, like, my all-time favorite. And this is my second one, actually. And it's just so pigmented. It's very pigmented, but you can sheer it out really nicely to a really nice glow. And I'm actually wearing it today, but for some reason, the sun's not wanting to pick it up. So, whatever. Alrighty. Bronzer. 
and contour slash contour okay the two very different things bronzer is to warm up the face contour is to contour now for bronzer I love the um, physician formula shimmer strips and this is in Vegas strip and it's really nice five different colors and you can mix them or whatever and you just get that really nice I can use it for a highlight too I mean it's perfect for a highlight you know I mean it's like the epitome of multitasker with this it's really nice for contour is of course Tarte Park Avenue Princess and this is like a sample size I've had it for a while but I mean I really pressed in there to get a color because you you can put it on and it doesn't look like you're actually contouring just simply because it's light enough to define your face but or dark enough to define your face bleh, but light enough to where it doesn't really show and I really enjoyed that so I really like that Tarte did something good highlight is the elf illuminating palette now yeah I have Becca and I do I like this one for price point and I get four different colors I have the Jaclyn Hill Becca collab and yeah it's okay I prefer this one because you got four different colors there as you can see and so you get four different colored highlights which is really nice and you don't right now yeah they look powdery but when you put them on and then you shear them out they are so nice and you can't beat six bucks even if you are on a very fixed budget that is really really affordable and that's one thing about Tarte that I really love is it's a very affordable makeup price price point and since our budget is about to be like massively cut this year because my husband's job is like doing some rearranging and everything my budget's gonna be cut but I'll get it figured out. I will get figured out. I will be able to feed my makeup addiction one way or another. Okay, mascara. I have two. Alright. This one's my new Rata Dye one. And it's the Benefit Roller Lash one. And it's just a sample one. But you know it's good that this week at some point, I'm going to get a full size. Yeah. Full size. And then... My next one is one I've used for years, and it's the Voluminous Original by L'Oreal. Yeah, I've used this one for years, and it works great. Okay, lipstick. I only have one actual lipstick I love. And it's by Revlon, and it's um, Red Lacquer 029. And it's just a classic red. I mean, you know, it's shimmer, pearl, color. Yeah, it's a pearl. But it's just so nice to brighten up a face. See? You don't need a lot to really brighten up your face. See, this changed how my face totally looks. And I really like it. Alright, let's get that off because I don't want to get it on anything. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Liquid lips. Alright, I got two. Alright, one is the NYX lingerie one. I don't know if that was special edition though. But I really like the bedtime flirt one. One of my favorites. Very great nude. And the other one is Anastasia Beverly Hills and American Doll. Mm-hmm. This is amazing. My mom hates red lipstick. She says she associates it with hookers. I love it because, to me, it symbolizes independence. But there's that color. Love it. And here's a swatch of the NYX. I don't like the NYX foot, little doe foot applicator, but 
I do love the color. The color is so nice. It's such a pretty neutral. I mean, it's very enjoyable. And there they are. Two very different colors from each other, aren't they? But they're just so nice. Okay, let's get these off if I can. Because they both have a habit of staining your skin. Lip gloss. Okay, my lip gloss is this Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss in like a peachy color. Where is the color? Life's a peach. And it's light enough to where I can put it on any lipstick, glot, or whatever. And it still looks that color, you know? But it's just so nice and... I mean, I've always been a fan of the Baby Lips, but when I found this little guy, it became my rat or die. Lashes. All right. People are always saying, like, house of lashes, blah, 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 blah. Mine are from Wish.com. I bought them for a dollar. They look like that. They have these really awesome band that is not a plastic, but it's more of, like, a string. And I really, really, really enjoy them. And for a buck for 10 pairs, you can't beat that. And they're the most natural lashes I've ever tried, actually. <laughs> and I've tried a lot of lashes. I have a ton of lashes. I love those. All right. I have my little list here. Eyeshadow palette. All right. See, boys ain't like the chocolate bar palette, the Bon Bon or Mac or whatever. And a lot of people do say this one. The Naked Palette by Urban Decay. This is my third palette in three years. Mm-hmm. Three years. I use it that much. But now I'm trying to branch out to my other palettes. So I haven't really loved this enough. And well, yes, I, I'm wearing Makeup Revolution today for eyes. And honestly... You can't really see it, but it's really nice and subtle, which I really like. But this, I can make just a nice, subtle look with it, and I can make a really awesome smoky eye with it. So, you can't beat the naked. It got that formula that's just amazing. All right, setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Love this stuff. Been This is my second third bottle because I've been trying to use my other ones but I finally ran out of this one this is my holy grail and I've been trying you know I've been trying the Maybelline the Ulta um what else NYX some NYX some um a couple of others and this has no smell or anything and the other ones I can detect I can detect the smell so for yeah I love it love it perfume alright you know the perfume brand that's in Walgreens called InStyle? Well, I love them. And I love Theory Mugler, Mugler's Angel for Women. It's their version of it. So nice. It's kind of a... Not necessarily spicy, but it's between spicy and a little bit of floral. But I really love it. Okay, now I added on some things that, you know, are my holy grail. They are something I'm always using no matter what, and they're my ride or die. Masks. Alright, since I discovered this mask at Forever 21 last month, or something like that, this is the Baroness Collagen Sheet Mask. Alright, it's 190 yeah, 190 at um, Forever 21, and I've been trying masks, because, you know, they're really good for you. They really are. They put a lot of stuff on your face that your face really needs. This is the one I really, 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 really love. So, I went and got me a bunch more. Alright, moisturizers. A lot of people say Murad and all that. I say the Garnier Skin Active one. The clearly brighter one with sunscreen. This is my second one. I'm... I got a fly in here. Get away from me, you stupid fly. But this is my second one, and I'm 
always shoving it on my face. Especially like after I get done in the sun. I'm like, oh, my skin's thirsty. Or, oh, I'm going to bed. Out of shot. It's always going on my face. Brow palette. Okay. Brow palette. My, of course, holy grail one is the Too Faced Brow Power. Brow Envy, actually. Has four colors, you know, and it usually comes with tweezers and a spoolie. Came with the stencils and stuff. But my son and dad lost those long ago. But, and I don't use the highlight anymore or the setting wax because they just got a lot of stuff in them. I mean, if you look. But I do use the powders, and I use the powders quite a bit. I didn't use it today, but I do use it quite a bit. Obviously, I hit pan. And I will probably end up at some point getting me a new one, because I've had it for like three years, so I think it's time for a new one. I think it's pretty past expired now. Milani. Okay, Milani's a great product. Obviously, I've mentioned them here. And I love the Brow Fix Brow Kit. And this is my newest one. Because I killed the other one. And it has tweezers. A little sponge and everything. A little mirror. It has a highlight and two brow colors. And I'm actually wearing it today in conjunction with a pencil. Just to kind of define my brows. Like I said. They're not perfect. But they're sisters. Thank you Jeffree Star for that phrase. I really love that phrase. And it's really good. I really, really enjoy it. And you know what? There's a couple of things on this um, ride or die list that I think should have been added. Like eye primers, okay? I'm always talking about this eye primer. And from Mica Beauty Cosmetics, it's a little pot. I'm always using this. And you can see I've gotten pretty down there. And I could not find, for the life of me, my Milani one, my Milani eye primer. I'm hoping it's somewhere, somewhere still in here. Or someone took it in, now my room is off limits to people. But the next one I like is the Urban Decay Original one. And, yes, I date my liquid products. And I actually really enjoy this. A little bit goes a long way on any of them. Lip Liner. Wet n Wild Brandy Wine. Used it since I was a teenager, man. This is my newest one. And I like it. It's just a subtle color. Blah, blah, blah. It looks great under red, black, pink, neutral. It looks great. Uh, my stick primer that I prefer for my eyes is the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Just a really nice white. And you can easily mix it out, you know. And just intensify those colors that you want to intensify. They're really nice. Worth the price. I got a couple of other ones. And they work for certain colors, you know. Like I have a green one. And I have cashmere. And I the green one I love with green, obviously. And the cashmere I use more towards the browns. And yeah. Alright. Uh, you know the pencil lipsticks? Only a few of them. A few brands actually have it, but e.l.f. has a pretty big line. And this is the matte lip color in rich red. I really enjoy this. And a lot of times now, you're starting to find e.l.f. in the dollar store, so a dollar. Mm -hmm. But this is such a nice rich red. And actually, I like... I got a little hair on it. Outlining my lines in this, my lips in this. And then I'll go in it with my Revlon one, my Revlon Red Lacquer, and I'll use that in the middle. And it looks so nice. Really nice ombre. Liquid eyeliner. Um, this became my newest holy grail. The newest. And I have a lot of eyeliners. I mean, I have Too Faced. I have Urban Decay. I have... Uh, Milani, I have Wet n Wild, Tarte, this beat it out, this is my newest holy grail, because I love the line, I mean, I'm wearing it today, did a beautiful job, and it's the Jordana Cat Eyeliner in Black 
leather. And it was like two bucks. So price point was absolutely awesome. I mean, you can make as thin a nail as you line as you want. You can make as thick as line as you want. And it stays. Like, forever. I mean, I'm hoping I, yeah, since it was wet, I was still able to get it off. So, this is my ride and die tag, everyone. And I hereby nominate all of you guys to do it. And I cannot wait to see what you do. So, you guys go and have a great Sunday. And I look forward to seeing that ride and die tag. Bye, guys.